Hello everyone, my name is Jax, and today we're going to do part 9 of the 5M TypeScript uh, scripting playlist. Kind of butchered that, but that's okay. Um, in this video, we're going to add more to our like UI that we made. If you haven't seen the part 8 live stream, please do so, because you're going to need to know where we are. Um, because we already made the UI if I did in UI test. This is the UI that we made during the live stream. So we get data and our player role is admin and player name is my name. So if you're not already here, you don't have this, please watch the previous part in order to get to here because this video is gonna already assume that you've done that. So with that being said, um, let's just go ahead and jump into the code. What we are doing today is adding more options to our UI. So I am in the hello world um, file right now. I have all three set up because these are the three files that we're going to use. We're not going to use anything else. Um, make sure that you, if you don't already have it, um, open your terminal and do CD packages resource and then do yarn watch so that way any edits we make on the client file it'll automatically build and then i'm going to press f2 on here and rename this to backend so i know which is which and then another terminal and we're going to do the same thing cd to packages and then cd to ui and do yarn watch and this one will take a little an extra second to build because it's building all of the ui so That'll do that. And then I'm going to rename this to front end. That way, in case we need to look at our console for any reason, we know which console is or, or uh, terminal is the um, back end or front end. And now we can start coding. We so. want to add a button that fixes the vehicles. And then we also want to add a button that deletes the vehicle. And so in order to do that, we have to make our callbacks. So let's actually drag this over here and let's make register, register NUICB, and we're gonna do fix v, fix vehicle. And then we're going to do cons player. We're gonna get our player ped. Uh, ID and then we're gonna get the vehicle that the player is in so vehicle ped is in and then we're choosing our player and then oops, oops I didn't so this grabs the player and this gets the vehicle that the player is in and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that vehicle fixed we're going to choose the vehicle that the player is in. We're going to do set vehicle deformation to fixed. Target the vehicle. Set uh, vehicle undrivable. We're going to change this to um, false. Make sure the uh, vehicle engine is on. That way if we like explode our vehicle or damage it to the point where the vehicle turns off, we fix the vehicle and turn the engine back on. And then we're gonna make sure the vehicle is set on the ground properly. So vehicle on ground proper B. So this is the fix vehicle callback. So now what we need to do is we need to add the button to our CSS file. So we are going to add a new class called fix vehicle, but I'm going to shorten it to VEH. And we're just going to do left 0% width to be 100 pixels. The background color is going to be um, just red, I guess. And then we're going to do position to be absolute the top to be 40%, and then the, the um, cursor to be a pointer. That way our mouse becomes like the, the finger whenever uh, we hover over the button, indicating that it's a button to press. 
border radius as five pixels, text align center, because we're gonna have text that says delete vehicle, so we don't want it to be uncentered. And we're gonna do 25 pixels, that's the height. So you should have this. I'm gonna move these up here and kind of sort these a little bit better. There we go, because I like to have these all like, just not like that. There we go. All right, so now that we have the class, now we gotta make the button. So down here, we have a check for is admin. If we're admin, we'll be able to enter the vehicle name to spawn. So we wanna put it under here. So we wanna make it like admin only in a sense. So we're gonna make a div and the class name will be fix veh. And then we're gonna do a button on click. It is sometimes you gotta, Make sure that we have the div at the end here. There we go. Now we can do in UI and then the name of the in UI, fix B. I'm gonna make sure I see. Similar to have like a function, you need the, the arrow, make it do that. So now the button will be displayed and we just press it and it triggers this. So now let's test it in game. So let's go to our console and do ensure. And I named my script 1k subs because I hit a uh, thousand subscribers during the live stream. So uh, we're just gonna head back in game here, do NUI test, press get data. And we have the button here, but we don't have text. It's because I forgot to add text. So we gotta do that. So let's go ahead and add that here. So we just add it right in between these little arrows right here and just say delete vehicle. Restart the script again. And then we do get data. There we go. Delete vehicle. So if I spawn like an elegy and press submit and then do get data, delete vehicle. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to do fix vehicle, not delete vehicle. Let me restart that again. So I just basically change delete to fix. So let's say we let's slam into this car real quick. So we have visible damage on our vehicle. Let's fix. There you go. Fixes. Now if we wanted to do a delete vehicle, which I was getting ahead myself there, but it's fine. To do a delete vehicle, we would do another register in UICB and call it delete vehicle. And then we do the same thing, get player, player ped ID, and then the vehicle that the player is in, set entity as mission entity, and then delete vehicle. And then now we pretty much do the same thing in the CSS file. So we make another one called DEL, VEH, so delete vehicle, left 25%. I like to use percentages just because it's easier than pixels for me. I like to use a, a mix of them, to be honest. It just depends on the day. It's one of those things for me. And then we're also going to do this red. But... The thing is, for these, they're pr pretty much the same. Like, I want them to be like the same button. So what we can do is we can group them together. And in order to do that, we just do uh, the class name. So fix vehicle and then a comma. And then we put what they both should have, like shared pretty much. So let's take um, position absolute. And then let's do top as well, because that'll put that like center in the um, starting from the very top. It'll put it about midway in the in the menu and then the background color red. So we can delete those The border radius can be shared as well. There we go. Also, the cursor pointer as well. And you just keep going until I think all we need is just the height. Well, the height can be shared as well. All we really need is the left. So this one's all the way to the left. So let's give that a little bit. 
And then let's actually increase this to 30. So now that we have these two grouped together, we can go ahead and make our second button here, make a div class name, and then our last name is delete vehicle. So, and then the button, which is on click, on click, and we do the same thing as before. So the similar to how it is for a function. And then we're doing fetch in UI delete vehicle. So now we're going to have two buttons that say fix and delete. And it seems that we are missing something. And that would be the extra ending div. There we go. So now let's go ahead and restart our script again and jump back in game here. Let's open our in UI. Get our player data and now we have fixed vehicle and delete vehicle so if we press delete vehicle there you go so let me demonstrate that one more time we're going to spawn our vehicle elegy let's say i damage it bam 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 scratch it all up get that crazy boom there we go so Pretty nasty damages on our car. Press fix. Perfect. And now we don't want our vehicle anymore. So we're going to press delete. There we go. And now we're going to do one final thing. So let's go ahead and go back into here. And we are going to make another register in UI callback called um, boost vehicle, which allows us to make our vehicle go super fast. So we're going to get the player and then we're going to get the vehicle. Now we're going to do an engine variable and we're going to do a function called set vehicle engine power multi multiplier targeting the vehicle and the engine. So that'll um, increase the power of the vehicle. And now we're gonna increase the torque and torque modifier engine, there we go. And then in the CSS file, we're gonna do yet another button. And it's literally gonna be the exact same thing as other buttons that we made. So we're gonna make a class boost vehicle and we're just gonna put it left 55. And then to add it to here, we're just gonna do boost vehicle comma. And then now we got to add it to here. So we'll make our div uh, class name. And then there we go. And I just wanna make sure that I put that right. Okay, good. So now we have fixed vehicle, delete vehicle, and boost vehicle. So this will boost. We'll call this callback and we can go ahead and restart our script, pop back in game, open our window, and now we have boost vehicle. So let's go ahead and spawn our car again, the elegy. And it's going to set the power and torque to like 100. So we're going to be like going super fast. So now you can definitely tell that my vehicle is boosted here. So there you go. So now we successfully made a couple new buttons, fix vehicle, delete vehicle, and boost vehicle in our 5M uh, script. So that's pretty cool. If you guys, again, haven't seen the last uh, part, please do so. So that way you'll be up to date on this um, playlist. Uh, but that's going to be pretty much it for the video. Uh, I just wanted to demonstrate a few uh, ways to add more to our UI. Uh, for a script. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like um, the video and it'll tell me to continue and keep it up. Uh, if you haven't joined my Discord already, please do so. And then if as well, if you haven't joined my um, roleplay server, please do so too, because we're doing like a beta testing thing. So if people can like join the server and like find bugs for me, for me to fix and things like that, um, you can like sign up on the beta testing to do that uh but i just wanted to kind of like get that out there but other than that that's going to be it for the video so thank you all for watching and goodbye